Welcome to the MBC training series. Today we'll demonstrate techniques on sample handling and loading for the Rigaku pucks. Consider these suggestions based on what I do here at the Beamline. If you have a technique you like better, please send it in to me at jcnix at lbl.gov. This first method shows the use of Rigaku cryo tongs to load samples into the pucks. Always ensure that the puck and tongs have been chilled down before use. After looping, plunge the sample into liquid nitrogen and then transfer to the tongs. Once the tongs are loaded, put the sample into the puck. The tongs are protecting the sample, so there's no reason to rush this. Notice the angle going into the tongs is pretty flat and tricky to navigate. I found that having the liquid nitrogen level as high as possible in the door makes things much easier. Standard cry vials can also be used to load samples. This is my preferred method since I find vials easier to handle and the samples are in liquid nitrogen the whole time. After loading, ensure the vial is filled with liquid nitrogen and then quickly invert it by hand into the puck. The LN2 in the vial protects the sample during this maneuver. You may want to practice this a few times before using real samples. Once the samples are loaded, ensure they are fully seated. For uncapped samples, the black tool with the small opening is used. Cool it off, then place it over the sample, giving a twist at the bottom. For capped samples, use the white tool with the wider opening. Once cold, place the tool directly over the cap and give a twist at the bottom. You can often hear a click as the base seats into place. Car valves can either be left on or removed for shipping. To remove a vial, you can either pull it off with car tongs or play a game of operation and take it out with forceps. I like to hold the puck down with a crystal wand while I do this. Using a flashlight for a visual inspection will ensure that all samples are seated correctly.